Today is September 4th. Pastor is saying to us, Power over sickness. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Mark, chapter 16, verses 17 to 18. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Our theme scripture outlines some of the signs of our divinity. One of them is our dominion and power over sickness, disease, and infirmities. Not only do we have power to cast out devils, we have power to heal sicknesses and cure diseases. Jesus made us healers. He said in Matthew chapter 10, verse 8, Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely ye have received, freely give. Notice he didn't say, pray to me to heal the sick. He said in Luke chapter 10, verse 19, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. He made us superior to Satan, who was majorly responsible for most of the sicknesses that people suffer with. Why then are there Christians who are still buffeted by sickness, disease, and Satan, in spite of these realities. Psalm chapter 82, verses 5 to 7, gives us the answer. It says, They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. I have said, Ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. But you shall die like men, and fall like one of the princes. Many are ignorant of God's word, and as a result, they're not aware that they have power over sickness and disease. They're not conscious that they have the divine life. Jesus said in John chapter 10, verse 34, Is it not written in your law? I said, ye are gods. Peter calls us partakers of the divine nature. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 4. Paul says, we're more than conquerors. Romans chapter 8, verse 37. Sickness, really, can't and shouldn't thrive in your body because Christ is the life of your physical body. The Holy Spirit in you already gave life to and vitalized your physical body. Romans chapter 8, verse 11. Believe and act on these truths today. Hallelujah. Please say this prayer with me. Dear Father, you are gracious and kind. You are righteous, holy, just and true. Thank you for your life in me. That makes me more than a conqueror. I live above sickness and disease. My life is excellent and full of glory. I walk in and manifest the dominion of Christ today. In Jesus' name, amen. For further study, please read Luke chapter 9, verse 2. Luke chapter 10, verses 8 to 9. Matthew chapter 10, verse 1. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 5 to chapter 3, verses 1 to 6, and Proverbs chapters 14 to 15. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 9 to 18, and Jeremiah chapter 22. Rhapsody of reality.